You're learning the harmonica? I'm in the Lord's army. Why are you crying? I have so much dishes to do today. It's 6 a.m. Everybody is sleeping. I'm starting my day with 32 ounces of lemon water. Try to rehydrate this dried out skin. So normally when everyone in the house is sleeping, I, um, I'm either reading in peace and quiet or I'm writing and working on my next project. But today is Friday and I release a new lesson for my online course every Friday and I have it due in like four hours and they're not ready to upload yet. So I'm approving them. <laughs> it's me painting my nails. Um, me painting my nails in that one. Uh, anyway, so I've put a blanket underneath the door frame so that they can't see light coming from my office and wake up and be like, oh, what's mommy doing? Let's all get up. I want them to be able to sleep so they're not cranky today. And Eli's going to be home today, so I'm not going to get much work done today. <laughs> so after I spend time approving the editing files, then I have to make it smaller to upload to the internet. So I use this thing called Handbrake, and it's a free program to make your video file smaller. So that's part one is ready, and now I'm going to approve part two. So since I didn't get to do my Bible time first thing in the morning like I like to do, um, I'm watching while my files are downloading and converting and being made smaller. I'm watching some um, Bible stuff on the screen, some prophecy and sermons and things like that to fill my mind with the right things to start the day. Just a plan B, you guys, if you don't always have time to sit and read your Bible, you can listen to sermons on the way to work or, you know, whatever you have to do to get the word in. Timmy came in the office. He's resting with Boris till I'm done doing my uploads and we can spend some time together. You just woke up? Yeah. Good morning, sweetie. Good morning, you sweetie. I'm the sweetie? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were the sweetie. You the, you the sweetie. I'm the sweetie? Oh, that blesses my heart. Thank you, sweetheart. Oh, you can crawl up on my lap. Oh, that's a great idea. Oh, you're the sweetie. Oh, I'm just finishing uploading this video for today. And then you want to start our day? Yeah, okay. The rest Okay, let's see. What do we have here today? We're going to go back in the Beginner's Bible. Back in the Beginner's Bible. Let's read about Isaac's blessing. Oh, you want to take a look? Okay. That's David. And that's the giant that he slayed. That little boy David, he had five smooth stones. And he knocked that Goliath down and killed him. Oh, he was God's enemy. Okay, so this is about Isaac's blessing. Do you guys remember that Isaac... Let's see. Okay, Pluto, Eli, no hurting Timmy. Now, do you guys remember from yesterday's teaching that Isaac... I can follow Boris. Hey... Do you remember that Isaac was the son born to Abraham and Sarah in their old age? He's happy. He is happy. Isaac's blessing. Okay. So. Which one is Isaac? Isaac. This, he's now an old man. Remember yesterday we read about when he was born to Abraham and Sarah? And then we read about how he got a wife? How he found a wife? Well, now he's an old man. Okay. Isaac blind. Um, sometimes that happens when people are old. When people get really old, sometimes their eyes go dim and they don't see very well. So this is this story is found in Genesis 27. When Isaac was an old man, he could not see very well. And he called his firstborn Esau. 
And he said, bring me my favorite dinner. Then I will give you God's blessing. See, it was um, a tradition for Jewish people to do a special blessing for their oldest child. Their oldest son was considered the most important child. So that would be you, Timmy. Yeah. You would get a special blessing. Okay, so Esau said, I will make a special meal for you. Oh, you don't want that on you? Okay. Then Esau went and hunted to cook some meat for his dad, Isaac. And here's where the sneaky stuff came in. Oh boy. Isaac's wife, Rebecca, she wanted Jacob, the younger son, to get the blessing. So while Yeah. So while Esau was hunting, she told Jacob her plan and she made Isaac's dinner. And you know what she did? Remember, Esau was a very hairy man, but Jacob was not. Jacob was a smooth man. So here's her sneaky plan. She tied goat skins around Jacob's arms. Do you see that? So that if, if dad, if Isaac would touch Jacob, he would feel that he was really, really hairy because Esau was a really hairy man. So he, he tried to disguise himself as his brother so, she could, so he could get the blessings. So Jacob was sneaky and his mom was sneaky. Yeah, so there, you see that? Jacob took the meal to his father after dinner. Isaac reached out to bless his son. Isaac thought Jacob was Esau. So he gave Jacob his blessing. Oh no, that was supposed to be for Esau, but Jacob got it. Ooh, look how mad Esau is. You see, he's got his fists up and he's mad. Esau returned and he found out what happened and he was very angry. He wanted to hurt Jacob. So Rebecca asked Isaac to send Jacob to his uncle Laban's house. Okay, that's it for the kid version. The adult version, this story is much longer. But there was a lot of deception going on in there. You know, Jacob's name actually means subplanter. He, when Jacob was coming out of the womb, he even grabbed his, his brother's foot, his ankle, and like was yanking on him. So, very interesting. So... Jacob had to run for his life because his brother Esau wanted to kill him for taking his blessing. And, and Esau begged his dad, Isaac, to give him a blessing. Please, don't you have another blessing for me? And he, the dad couldn't. He gave him like a tiny little token of a blessing, but he couldn't give another blessing because the main blessing was already given out. Yeah, he's dizzy loud and... Yeah, ew, he got ew, he got mad because his brother took his blessing. You wouldn't do that to Timmy, would you? Would you take Timmy's blessing? Yeah. Yeah? What? You're supposed to say no. No, I wouldn't take Timmy's blessing. <laughs> okay. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E. Backwards, read it forward, read it backwards. I for your insides, for your outsides, for your insides. That's for your insides. B makes you brave, makes you bold, makes you brave. L is love forever, love forever, ever, ever. The B I B L E, the B I B L E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B I B L E. The artillery. I may never fly over the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's God, army. The Lord is in the army. I'm in the Lord's army. I'm in the Lord's army. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never. Zoom over the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. <gasps> Timmy? Timmy?
Timmy, you ready to do prayer, <clears throat> ti prayer time? Would yes. you like to say a prayer for everybody? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, thank you, Lord, that everyone is always safe on this day. Make sure that Anna gets back. Actually, no. Make sure that Anna stays safe and healthy. Make sure that bad happens soon. Make sure that, um, good friends are in today. Do you want to pray for the people in the world that are struggling? No, no thanks. Because <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't, I don't like to pray for Anna. You only want to pray for Anna today? Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you, God, that everyone who's hurting and struggling and in pain, that you bring them a solution. Keep the cold and hungry people warm and filled. And help anyone who's struggling mentally and emotionally right now. Bring them peace. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 So as I'm here filming the second vlog for today, they didn't know that I had made a vlog of them before. So I'm showing them the vlog. What do you think about seeing yourself on screen? <laughs> Eli's watching himself on the screen for the first time. Oh, commercial. Never mind. I'm just doing some stretching on my little yoga mat. And the boys, well, Eli and Timmy. Eli likes to watch these weird videos where grown men are dressed as Spider-Man doing weird things. It's literally just weird on YouTube. He can watch these all day long. I don't get the appeal, but <laughs> that's kids for you. Eli has a good time. What can we say? <laughs> you don't like the Spider-Man? Yeah, he likes the weirdos dressed up. He always likes to crawl on me when I'm stretching. <laughs> he tries. He tries to climb on me when I'm stretching. Oh, Eli, stop. Uh, yep. Business as usual. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> He's getting his Cheerios. He wants Cheerios. You don't want Timmy to have Cheerios? Yeah. What do you want him to have instead? Get him? You want me to get him because he's eating Cheerios? Yeah, the Cheerios. What do you want him to eat instead? He said the Cheerios now. Get the Cheerios now. Yeah. What do you want him to have a different breakfast? Yeah, the Cheerios now. What do you want him to have for breakfast? You want him to have a bar instead? No, okay, that's enough. Don't worry. Two ounces of lemon water. Now I'm I'm kind of been doing a new tradition, tradition, a new thing I'm doing the last probably for the last week I've been doing this is making um, celery juice to be the first thing I have in the morning. So I have organic celery sticks, and I'm gonna put them through the juicer. And the reason it's important to for this particular modality to juice the celery because it helps the fiber is kind of it's important for certain things but for the medicinal properties of celery but for celery juice it is important to separate it from the fiber because there's i think it's called mineral salt clusters that are better you get better access to them 
when the fiber is not attached. And since I'm vegan, I pretty much eat fiber all day long. So missing a little bit from these <coughs> carrot sticks is not going to matter. Yeah. <laughs> some that I'm going to put aside for Rob for when he wakes up. If I didn't wake him from the sound of this juicer. And then I'm going to have the boys each have a couple sips. And then I will have the rest. This celery juice. Mm. <laughs> so it's the mineral salt clusters. They help flush your liver out. So it's a good thing to have first thing in the morning because you know when you sleep at night your body's getting rid of toxins and junk and then this helps you flush your liver in the morning. Very important. A lot of issues in our body stem from our liver and kidneys being overworked. So helping them flush out is very good for you. I have so much dishes to do today. It's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Home life. What can I say? Why are you crying? You wanted to help me make the celery juice? I'm sorry. Hold I on. asked you three times to come help me make it and you didn't want to. You were busy watching Spider-Man. No, and now, no. now you're sad I made it without you? Yeah. Do you want me to make tomorrow's batch right now? You want us, we can make, we can make it for tomorrow, make it right now and just put it, you want me to put it in the fridge for tomorrow? Yeah. So you want to help me make celery juice again? Yeah. Okay, let me clean out the juicer and then we'll start all, Mommy, all, all over again. Me. Timmy's helping me put the dishes away, or rather I'm helping him because that's how he earns his video game money. Putting the silverware away, bud. Except I up Mommy. You accidentally did what? Except I broke Mommy's HDMI cord. You broke my HDMI cord? Oh, is this a confessional? You're letting people know what you did? Yeah. You broke two of my HDMI cords. Mm -hmm. And you broke three of our computers. Whoops. I'll just be listening to my audiobook and putting these dishes in the dishwasher now that the first load is put away. I'll show you a photo of the current audiobook I'm listening to. It's about the Vietnam War. You're learning the harmonica? Someday I'm going to be famous. For playing the harmonica? Oh, yeah. Oh, you better get your practice in. Awesome. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> I got the first load of dishes going. It's 9.20 in the morning, and I am steaming some red potatoes to have later in the day. Mommy. Yeah. I accidentally got cut. Okay, let's get a Band-Aid and clean it up. I've got to take all these um, boxes out to the recycling. I got groceries yesterday, big, big haul. <laughs> Grapes, kiwis, persimmons, tomatoes, pomelos, limes, bananas, three boxes of oranges, two boxes of mangoes, four of these melons, and frozen stuff too, frozen broccoli, different Juices, orange juice for the kids, almond milk, suja, cooked beets. You want to eat? Eli's eating. He's got bananas and some garlic toast and some uh, veggie sausage. And Timmy's also got veggie patties and garlic toast for breakfast. Cut. And he got a little cut on his hand. It's all better now. All right, I am making my breakfast now that everyone else is fed. Um, I tried giving Rob a smoothie, but he said he's having coffee and avocado toast. So I'm going to have a whole um, honeydew melon. And sometimes I like to chow on it, but today I'm gonna blend it up with some parsley. I've never tried this combination, so delicious honeydew melon for the taste and parsley for the medicinal properties. Because I've never had this combo, I don't want to overdo it with this. So I'm going to put about this much in per blender full and blend this up. 
the first half. If I don't, if I don't like it when I'm ready to eat the second half, I'm, I'm not gonna put it, the parsley back in again if I don't like it. <laughs> Let's do a little taste test. <laughs> not bad, I could handle that. I think I'm gonna do, yeah, I think I'll do parsley with it. So I tried parsley on my dinner last night and I wasn't keen on it in mixed in with my potatoes and stuff. Maybe I just didn't chop it fine enough, but I think I like it this way better. You gonna go to school now? Mm -hmm. Okay, you have a good day at school with Anna. Bye. Bye. Tell me what you learn later. Okay. Timmy's doing so much better in school now that he's um, being homeschooled and I have Anna working with him Monday through Friday, pretty much every week. Um, night and day difference in his ability to comprehend and understand and not throwing fits and not being upset and freaking out and feeling like he's being left behind and saying school is a prison. He's, it's much better for his learning. So I'm blessed to be able to now have someone instead of just me to be able to help him with his homeschooling. Something else I do two or three times a day is I make my own um, distilled water. So I, I invested in a water distiller. And so the water goes in here, goes through the system, it goes down in here, and then <laughs> it distills the water. So two or three times a day I'm making distilled water for the family. You have some daddy and Timmy time? Or daddy and Eli time. Look at me getting the kids mixed up. <laughs> I was going to say, um, <laughs> hi. Are you guys playing dinosaurs? Mm -hmm. this, is, this is the daddy dinosaur, and that's the Eli dinosaur. Cute. You guys are sharing some avocado toast. You want some? He never turns down food, even though he's already had breakfast. He doesn't, doesn't <laughs> turn down avocado toast. <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> Since Rob's spending some time with Eli and Timmy's in class with Anna, I'm going to try to learn some new skills on the computer. I've been trying to figure out how to do, when I do the live stream on my YouTube channel on Sunday mornings, I'm trying to figure out how I can like put slides in or be able to share my screen and cut to another something else I want to show you guys. So that's what I'm going to try to learn. I've already watched some tutorials on it, but I still didn't figure it out. And I still don't know why my Mac computer won't let me live stream from it. I've tried a couple times. Maybe I need to try on Timmy's little um, Chromebook. I didn't want to disturb them while they're doing school, but I wanted to show you they're in there working and they do that at least four or five hours a day. I think I think the law in California for homeschool is you only have to do three or four hours a day. And I don't know if it's, there's a set like number of days you have to do it, like 150 days out of the year or I'm not sure, but as long as we do it coinciding with you know, the days the schools are open here, that's sufficient. Okay, I'm an hour and a half into my research on trying to figure out how to add a guest to go live on my YouTube. I have not come up to any solutions yet that I can do. Hi. Okay, thanks for throwing that at me. Uh, that I can do on an iPhone since my computer doesn't let me go live and I can't figure out why. So instead, we're gonna take a balloon break and we're gonna, we're gonna play balloons? You wanna play balloons? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna bounce the balloon around a little bit and I don't know, double balloons. We're gonna have a little balloon party before I get back to work. What'd you say? I said poopy butt. 
You have a poopy butt? Yeah, I'm stepping on your foot. And you're stepping on my foot. Thanks. So I guess we better do something about that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it either. <laughs> what? Why did you say that? Why did I say that? Because <laughs> you did it. Okay. <laughs> so what are you working on? Oh, uh, well, this is the 1965 Briggs and Stratton six horse that I put an ungodly amount of time into cleaning up and putting new parts on. Yeah, you made and, it look really pretty. <laughs> and um, fix, figuring out throttle cables and all that stuff, cleaning the tank and all that, and I can't get it to fire after all that. Uh, I'm just I'm thinking there's something wrong with the cylinder head. It might have no com like low compression, but it seems like the compression test I had, I did, it had enough, but it's just not working. So, yesterday I went out and bought this Harbor Freight uh, six and a half horse that I'm trying to figure out how to fit in there. Um, the shaft is smaller than this one, so the, this little thing that fits on here, I've got to get an adapter, and I gotta get the rest of this off. And then I can so you're it. gonna try to use some parts from this one that doesn't fire and use it for this? I, yeah, I have to. This, this pulley right here, it goes with this system right here. So this will go on here and then there's a belt drive that goes on there and that's what powers the, the back wheel. What, and what year is this little motorbike? This is, uh, I believe it's a 1965. It looks like it's from the 60s. Yeah, it's a 1965 <laughs> Japanese made, assembled in Utah trailblazer. Um, some people generically call them tote goats because those were the most popular version of it but this is not a tote goat um, like what people say about kleenex yeah facial tissues yeah, or coke yeah <laughs> all right and eli's playing outside just like dad's playing outside what you working on oh you got thor's hammer you're going to give to uh captain america yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's coming to Iron Man, the same story, the same story, Spider Man. He's gonna destroy Spider Man? Yeah, destroy the Captain America. Ha ha ha! I'm continuing on, trying to figure out how to <laughs> use some app on my phone to do the live stream so I can add a guest and possibly share my screen. Still working on it, two and a half hours in. I'm having a little snack. This is a, like a detox smoothie. This has got spinach and blueberries and bananas and spirulina and barley grass. Okay, it's lunchtime. It's one in the afternoon. I am making this is onions with broccoli and bok choy and refried beans and the orange little bits are um, squash and I forget what kind of squash this is. Maybe you can tell me in the comments. I tried to get acorn squash but they were out. This squash starts with the letter C I think. So if you know what kind of squash this is you can let me know. You're having your favorite lunch? Spaghetti is from Campo. <laughs> Campo. Um, and a veggie chicken patty? Yeah. He always pronounces Campbell's soup as Camp Bells, which I guess it's spelled that way. Maybe I'm the one that's wrong in the pronunciation. What do you think? I guess. <laughs> He's having Camp Bells SpaghettiOs. <laughs> and you enjoyed your lunch. Looks like you ate your burrito and your oranges, and you have a little tomato and peas left, huh? Yeah, you got your delicious smoothie. Amazing. It's a heavy metal detox smoothie with apple juice. It is 3.30. I have been working on going live on my computer since 10 a.m. I'm happy to say I finally found a resolution. I have like smoothie on my nose. Um, 
I, you know, I called the Mac store and they were able to figure it out in 10 minutes. And yeah, I spent, what did I spend? Five and a half hours trying to figure it out on my own? Oh boy. Okay, he's getting restless. I told him we're gonna go for a walk. We gotta walk to the bank and deposit some money for the car payment. And um, we gotta go to the store and get more Band-Aids because Timmy uses up all the Band-Aids. All right, Timmy just went for a walk with his caregiver and he brought home a box of Band-Aids. So now we don't need to go get Band-Aids, but we're gonna go for a walk anyway because we need to deposit money to make the car payment. Looks like Rob's getting rid of some of our studio lights. They work and everything. Um, yeah, she, anyone has these lights that say RTN, <laughs> that's Robert Tyler Norland. So good find whoever comes by and picks them up. Okay, so it's about, I don't know, it's getting close to 4 p.m. It's January, it's kind of dreary. It's probably gonna be getting dark soon. It's 59 degrees. <laughs> My mom told me it's two degrees right now where I'm from in Minnesota. I said, yeah, I'm not missing that. You enjoy, you enjoy that. <laughs> tired no okay wait no well that was unsuccessful somehow i accidentally woke him well when i tried to lay him down he woke up even though he was half asleep and he was like i'm not tired i'm not tired i thought if i lay down with him and cuddled him he might fall back asleep but nope no break for mom because this little one has been not napping anymore lately. That's... No. Yeah. No break for mom? Yeah. Yeah. No, no sleep for Elijah. No sleep for Elijah. Yep. Okay. Here we go again. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Okay. Here we go again. Back from our walk. It was about 37 minutes. Eli is not sleeping, so he's watching Hulk Smash and Iron Man and Panther and whoever else the superheroes are of the week. And they told me on the Mac store people that I have to back up my system and do an update and do all this stuff, but I don't feel like doing anything else with the computer. So I think I'm gonna go over the files that I have to go through for my friend's probate case. I'm the executor, so. This work, we've been working on it for over a year. It's it's a lot. And you're Mr. Cranky because you didn't get your nap in. Whining, whining, whining. We're sitting here eating a big bowl of grapes. Gonna, I guess, just watch a movie. Timmy, eat a grape. No! Eat a grape. No! Eat a grape. Eat a grape. No. Eat a grape. Eat a grape. You want Eli and I to eat all the grapes? Eli, eat a grape. No. Oh, you're copying Timmy now? Excuse me, you've been... Oh, okay, you're eating one. Eat a grape. Food issues. <laughs> Okay, Eli's is getting some pizza and some SpaghettiOs. Uh, I'm making myself some um, garlic mashed potatoes with peas. This is a family of all different tastes. I don't know what Rob's gonna make himself, but I'm making Timmy an impossible veggie burger. So that's, that's the start of dinner. 
Okay, whatever unhealthy thing Rob is going to make himself for dinner. It's not always unhealthy, but <laughs> usually he goes by his taste buds. I made him a salad to go with whatever he's having. So I made a bigger one for myself. Um, it's romaine, butterleaf lettuce, uh, purple cabbage, tomatoes, red bell pepper, and beets. I'll let him pick his own dressing. Eli, you're so cute. What do you mean you're not cute? I need to look at the phone. You're so cute. Yeah, you're so cute. No, you're so cute. No, you're so cute. No, you're so cute. I think you're the cuter one. No, you're the cute one. No, you're the cute one. I'm having a little bit of banana smoothie with cilantro. We'll see what Timmy's up to. We're out here watching a Easter movie. What you doing? Mommy, you jump scared me. I jump scared you? <laughs> What's going on? I'm playing Hello Neighbor, the infamous horror game. You're playing Hello Neighbor, the infamous horror game? Because yes. Because yes? So your computer's not working again? Is it broke for real this time? No, I think it won't turn on quickly. It just won't turn on quickly? Correctly. Correctly. Do you want to watch the movie with us? No, thanks. Okay. We rented Ghostbusters. Uh, they're sitting on the couch enjoying popcorn, and I'm going to have um, some gluten-free crackers and hummus, so... We're gonna hunker down and watch this movie we paid $20 to. I guess we had to buy it. They didn't have renting available for the new Ghostbusters movie. Eli's crashed out. You can't see, he fell asleep. Three quarters of the way through the movie. Ooh. We all, Timmy was playing video games, so he missed it. Rob and I got some cuddle time, so that was good. The, the kind of the same thing, you know. Do you think this is a good place to end the Ghostbusters yeah. franchise? I think so. Thank you, Lord, for blessing, blessing these boys. I pray, Lord, that you give them a good night's sleep, sweet dreams, and all of that good stuff. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. It's a wrap. <laughs> hey there, it is Katherine Norland. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you guys think that this video would bless somebody else or if they need to hear it, please hit the share button. And there's a little bell button too where you can be notified whenever I have a video that comes out so you don't miss a thing. I appreciate you guys. Remember always, live true, love hard, shine bright, and I will see you in the next video.